Well, hello, everyone, and thanks for watching this short video. Uh, it's going to be an end-to-end -end process on QuickBooks payments in QuickBooks Online and how it works, and, and which is really cool. And, of course, I'm Woody Adams here, product specialist with Intuit, and I've wanted to do a video on this for a long time, but I don't have a live payments account. But, of course, my good friend and co-host with the QB show and radio for QuickBooks, Stacey Kildall, does QB payments with a lot of her clients. I'd say All the majority of, of them. Yeah, and she's been doing them for a lot, even before payments was cool, right? Or even we changed the name from into a, or merchant services to into a payment network to QuickBooks Payments. Way before it was cool, her and Don, of course, have been, been using this. But it would, you know, I want to show, you know, what is the end-to-end -end perspective? What happens? Why is it so cool? And so, first off, Stacey, how's it going? And thanks for uh, being willing to do this this morning on this Friday. Hey, no problem. Yeah. My pleasure. So we chose to do a Google Hangout so that we can both share out because I'm going to be the I'm going to be Stacy essentially, and I'm going to create the invoice, and Stacy's going to be one of her clients, and we're going to go through the create invoice, you know, messaging. Uh, I'm going to email the invoice to her, and then I'm going to open then, up the invoice and show you how to pay and use the invoice portal. Yes, awesome. And then we could even maybe attach a document back to me, or we can send messages, etc., just to show the functionality there. Then you'll pay it. And I'll be able to see it paid and how, then we'll go look at the history and see the payment. You know, it totally skips on deposit of funds, of course, and it goes right into the checking account. So, right? Yes. Is that Ideally, point? yes. There are occasions where, for some reason, that process doesn't work. But if that okay. happens, it's not very often, you'll get a message right on your homepage saying, hey, you have to go. And then you just have to manually deposit it. It's not that big of a deal. And it doesn't nice. happen that often. Nice. And I'll have you explain the fees you know, as, as we're going along. Yeah, I would like to be able to show the fees. The problem with showing the fees is that <laughs> everybody can actually see my real live checking Which account. Which we're not going to do. Right. right. I'm really do. not too <laughs> cool or too keen on sharing my uh, bank register, probably because it's not accurate. Uh, I don't think I've done any of my own books uh, at all this year. I need to hire a bookkeeper. Yeah, and secretly because the QB show... Um, makes millions of dollars a year. I'd rather people don't know it's that. Mil almost I stay, billions. I hate to stay under we're the radar. Really, yeah, we're really closing humble. in on billions. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I'm going to share out, um, but thanks for doing this. It's going to be fun. I think so. And right now I am in uh, Stacy's file, and I'm in Starbucks mode, right? The private mode there in the right, you see it's on, so you guys can just can't really see the balances, but she's got a lot of activity. Look at all those bank accounts that are hooked up to either a credit card or a bank. That is sweet. Talking about automating your data entry, thanks for just living that way. Stacy. Oh, and most of them are old credit cards that I just have to delete and make inactive that I don't use. So That's but fine. It looks know. cool. I mean, it I does think look, look kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, it looks busy. So I'm going to go ahead and create an invoice, um, and you can do it any old way, from transaction sales or, or maybe that client center specifically, but I like the quick create at the top. And Stacy, I'm choosing which customer should I choose so that it goes to you. Uh, if you want to do the QBShow.com, uh, I created gotcha. a new customer just for this, so uh, you should. QBShow.com, perfect. Thank there you. you go. And then and there's the email, email that'll go to you. Yeah, I did a little prep work early this morning after my workout. And thanks for doing this. And notice, typically when I'm doing videos, my online payment is kind of grayed out because I don't have it turned on. So when you turn QB Payments on, and I'm not going to go into the settings because that's where she would have her uh, private information on, the, on the, the, the QuickBooks payments and stuff. But if you go to the gear icon, Company Settings Payments, that's where you either link an existing account that you had in desktop or whatever or sign up for a new one. And Stacy, are you doing the twenty bucks a month, or you do the zero a month, and you have a higher swipe rate? I'm assuming it's. You the know point. what? I don't know. It's, uh, whatever we got, we get uh, through train. I think there was a deal back in the day for Trainer Writer Network. I quite okay. frankly, I have no idea what plan. No, I that's use. great. Now, in this like case, I, said, I need to hire a good bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, love the irony. People will appreciate that. And and in this case, uh, Stacy has both credit card and bank transfer checked off, but. Per client, I could actually just do maybe just an ACH or bank transfer, or I could do credit card, but I'm going to leave them as both for the QB show. Yeah, if and this were maybe a, a high-dollar transaction, like maybe this was yeah. you know, like a $5,000, you might want to only allow a bank transfer because then you're only going to pay $0.50 cents rather than the 2%. So not that I have huge dollar amounts, but if that were the case, I know Michelle Long, she always, makes, she always jokes uh, when she's presenting about how she's too cheap to let her clients, her customers pay with credit card. Uh, she <laughs> only allows bank 
transfer <laughs> warrants. I don't care. I just want them to pay me as soon as possible. I just want my money. So as all quickly right. as I can. I'll probably have to edit that out of the video. <laughs> no, we make jokes okay. about it all the time. All right. so, yeah, it's like so yeah, Michelle we, will be yeah. cool. All right, fine. Yeah, it's totally um, fine. All right. So at this point, you know, I have a ten dollar, you know, service that we did. And I'm going to leave credit card and bank transfer there. I could check send later, but actually I'm going to send it now because we're doing this in real time. But you might do send later, and I think it just allows you to send it you know, from either the customer center or the transaction sales window. Now, that being said, I'm sure Stacy does this a lot. You can set up you know, recurring invoices or recurring sales receipts that QBO will just send out automatically because you can auto send those, yep. you know, like desktop, auto email. And you can do it right from the screen. If you click that yeah. more, you can, you can do it right exactly. from the screen. If I go down and hide that and click make recurring. So there's that as well. Um, so I'm going to click save and send right now. And it's just a $10 uh, invoice. And we'll let that go out. And here's what it looks like where I can edit the body of the email. Again, I have another chance to say, well, Stacy doesn't do bank transfer or the client doesn't do bank transfer. So we'll leave it at credit card. But I'm going to leave both checked for now. I'm going to go ahead and click send and close. It's a cool logo you got there. Well, thank, I'm probably rebranding in the next few months. I've had okay. that for a while. Yeah, we're redoing the website. So one thing I want to mention too is yeah. I, as the as the invoicer, the person sending the invoice, I have it set up so that I actually get a copy of this sent to that info at Killed All Services, the email that it looks like it came from. So I get a copy of it so I can make sure that it went out. Nice. Um, and I do, and this also uh, applies to any recurring transactions as well. And I've mentioned most of my clients are all on recurring transactions, my monthly uh, bookkeeping clients, and so at the beginning of the month, we have sales receipts and we have their credit cards stored on file, so they get charged, uh, just the sales receipts get, get created, the card gets charged, the, cu the uh, customer, the, my client gets a copy of the invoice, and then I do as well. Nice so time. I'm going to go ahead. I unshared, so you can share at this point. Very cool. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to screen share and show what the... Um, that's not the one I want. Um, show what the email looks like. So if I go over here to my inbox, you can see there it is. I have an invoice. Can you see that, Woody? Can you Let see me that? see here. It's still thinking. I show a black screen. Okay, then you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do something Now I else. see you again. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to say screen share, and we'll just do the whole monitor. I just tried doing that one. Um, one okay. Minute. There we go. Okay. So now you see it? No, it's still, yeah, there we go. Now okay. I'm seeing the invoice. E there, I see the e invoice in the email, right? There yep, we go. So this is what it looks like, and it says, you know, here's the invoice from Kill All Services. I'm going to open it up, and the way that I have it set up, and, w and when you go into your uh, company settings, you want to make sure that you have online invoicing chosen, but you want to make sure that the box to attach the invoice as a PDF is not checked. That way, you uh, sort of the client has to, or the customer actually has to click the blue button that says view invoice to view the invoice. And by doing this, uh, this is the screen that they're going to see. They're going to see that invoice portal. And this allows me to, I can see the due, this, the balance due of whatever the invoice is. So if I had previously made any payments on this, the total balance due is what would show right here. Uh, so I can go ahead and I can print this if I want. I can save this as a PDF. Um, one thing that I can do is I can say, you know, get send uh, Woody a message. Yeah, I like that part. And I can even add. Um, oh, an attachment. Yeah, I can even add transactions here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in a little fairy godmother picture right there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and send that. So uh, he's going to, Woody is going to go ahead and, and we'll screen share in just a second. But now the next process, the next step is for me to go ahead and what I refer to as the beautiful blue pay now button. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pay this. I'm going to choose uh, a credit card and I'm going to enter in my name and my billing zip code. And then what I'm going to do now before I start to enter my card number in uh, is I'm going to go ahead and let Woody, I'm going to stop screen sharing. Yes, please do that. Because I don't so want no you guys one... to see my yeah. credit card number. And then exactly. Woody is actually going to open up the invoice and show you the messaging on his end and awesome. show you what he can see. Yep. Let me go ahead and share out at this point.
and let me tell you when it's time that you can start any your credit card. Hold on. Okay. I'm sharing now, so feel free to enter the card. No one else should be able to see your credit card number. No. Nope. Um, and I'm going to go to the recent transaction um, icon, which I love because we just did it, right? I don't need to go search under clients or transaction sales. Right. And it'll bring up the invoice, and down below, I have a message, which is awesome. I mean, I didn't. I mean, if you have the invoice up, you probably have to refresh the browser, but this isn't like an instant message uh, platform. It's not how it was designed, right? I mean, you're, you're not doing these things right after your, your accountant or the client's doing something. You're, you know, you're going into the file. You're looking at the invoice. Oh, there's a message. So the, the QBShow.com, my customer said, looks good. Thanks for the hard work. Tells me when they sent it as well as a download that I will go ahead and open up. It also keeps kind of an audit log of when I sent the invoice to when they actually viewed it, really, uh, because that's in the message there. And so it was literally three minutes after I sent it, which is nice. Yeah. And while Stacy's entered that, okay, there's a picture of the fairy godmother. Uh, right. um, Ray would really appreciate that. It's a nice attachment there. So at the bottom of, it's much like the uh, messaging you can do on a check or a bill or a credit card expense with your client, similar kind of thing. What was this about, et cetera, you choose a user. But this is really nice that you can do attachments as well. Uh, within the portal, the invoicing portal uh, yep. process. So at this point, I'll stop sharing. Let me go to that, and then Stacy can take back over. Yeah, and so I'm in the process now, and I, I haven't clicked send payment, but I'm about to do that. So you guys won't be able to see uh, you won't be able to see my credit card information. You'll just be able to see the last four digits. So can you see that, Woody? Yes, that looks awesome. Uh, so, just see the last four numbers, the expiration date, you know, the zip code. And yep. So now the last thing that I have to do is just click Send Payment. Nice. And it will get paid. And what's really cool is I'm going to get this little message. Oh, cool. Says, payment sent. Payment has been sent. If I want, I can print this receipt if I need to. But what's really cool is I don't have to because if I have this in my invoice, in my inbox, really that's kind of me I can kind of store it that way because I can always click this view invoice now anytime I need to. So if I just close this out um, and you can see here the next message is going to be you paid this invoice um, and if Woody had sent me any reply I would be able to I would see that here as well um, and so it's going to show paid there's going to be a zero and the pay now is now you can't click on Straight it. Out. Yeah. Very so cool. if I close on this and I want to go back to it I for me, I would probably never print that invoice because I'm always going to be able to go back to that um, email and click on that and see that it was paid. You know so, what I like? Yeah. The uh, the pay now is grayed out, so there's no way for someone to double pay. Right, and here's that's the thing too. What's really cool about this is you can't over you can't you can pay partial payments, but you can't pay more than what the invoice is. Oh, that's excellent. That is and good to know. One thing that I do is kind of a best practice is when I send the invoice, I generally will put what the invoice is. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, I just sent one. I just got done doing the, the live QBO cert training, so I had to send some invoices to Intuit. And right. so I made sure that in the subject line, it said so that way if the person that I'm sending it to it will be easy for them to search rather than getting you know three or four emails that all say invoice from Killball Services. They're not going to know which one it is. So when you ha you're in that send screen, uh, you can edit the subject line and edit the body of it uh, before you do it, and that way I think it makes it a little bit easier for your customers. The other thing I want to point out is both uh, me as uh, the payer and Woody as the payee. Uh, we'll be able to, we'll both get emails. So I'll have an email in my inbox uh, from info at Kildall Services that says this invoice has been paid. And then I will also get an email confirmation from the payment that I made to, uh, to Woody. So this is what that is. And again, I can always go ahead and click view invoice. So I can store both of these if I need to. Um, so I have those and I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And I'm going to file those away. Now Woody's going to go back and he's going to, um, I'm going to stop screen sharing, he's going to show you what that looks like on the back end as far as the paid invoice. Because quick, what's okay. really cool about QBO is it actually marks the payment, uh, the invoice is paid, 
and then it should deposit it directly into the checking account and it will also post the fees as well. We're not going to show you that because I don't want you to see my checking account, but just trust me that's how right. it works. Right, so you can see I refresh the window, right? And, and again, typically one wouldn't have to do that because you'd be logging in to check it out, you know, at another time, not in the same minute <laughs> that your client right. pays it. Right. That would be actually quite a cool anomaly, but I doubt that would happen. So you can see right away in the upper right, it says paid and then one payment received, 123.15. Now, Stacy, do you want me to, oh, also it says last delivery. So again, you can see it, and let's see any other messages because I should also ha maybe have another message. Oh, check it out, QB Show pay viewed the invoice, viewed the invoice, then they paid it. So there's a whole timeline down below, which is really nice too. Um, and this is, of course, where I would say, you know, hey, you know, thanks for such a prompt uh, <laughs> payment. I mean, literally, uh, it was a 90-second uh, AR aging, you know, something like that. So sorry which about the fabulous. typing. Yeah, and we're going to post it that way so you can see that the more people who, it's the old adage, the more people that are watching you type, the less you can really type. So Exactly. I'm going to go up and you have one payment now. Do you want me to click on the payment or is that going to show info? Yeah, go ahead. You can okay. do that. So again, this is like your uh, control H in, in desktop, right, checking out the history. shows the payment and I go ahead and click on that and it's going to bring you to the receive payment window. And this is what credited they are, the AR and, and debited, you know, the checking account. It's, it's typically wouldn't go to undeposited funds, right, because you're skipping that part, and that's the beauty of QB payments. And there's the invoice, and it shows the payment as well. We're not going to go into the make deposit window, um, but it even says the deposit amount of $10 was deposited on 123 2015 And one and, thing that I want to point out, if yeah. you um, want to do this, if click where it says uh, transaction has been processed, right under the payment. Oh, method. nice. Yeah. Let me click on that. Oh, that's sweet. So you can actually, so if, because this is a test, I could actually have Woody go in and void the payment. Um, so, and it will void the payment if maybe the client called and said, oh, I, hey, I used the wrong credit card, or I didn't mean to pay that, or for whatever reason, uh, you need to void it. You can actually do that directly from that payment screen. Oh, that is sweet. And you can even print it off if you want to. But typically, yep. you guys want to keep it all electronic and not have a bunch of paper in the office. Love that. Uh, Stacy. is there anything else? Like, should I go to Transaction Journal, like Control Y Report? Or is that going um, to no, show I what was... Nah, so. not a big deal. So, we've done if what... If you want, you can go to the... Um, if you go to Recent Transactions, you can see yeah. uh, the deposit. Oh, nice. But we don't want to actually go to the... No, you can, it'll just show you the deposit. It doesn't okay. show you my bank balance or anything. Oh, right. yeah, it does. No, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll cut that out. Um, We'll have to cut that, that no, one out okay. and hang out. Okay, I'm not yeah. worried about it. <laughs> All right, very good. Again, we don't want to let people know that we really, um, you know, billions in the upper billions. echelon yeah. of uh, top income for companies in the in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, the QB show, but no, thanks a lot for that. Is there any other thing that you wanted to mention? I'll, I'll unshare now. Um, let's go back here and unshare. And this was really cool to see this, in, you know, in a pr as an end-to-end -end process. I mean, it's. It's really not daunting or overwhelming. It's quite simple, and I'm sure after the first one or two, this is your preferred choice. Yeah. Right of of workflow. Yeah, I I love this. And the other thing too is you can explain this all day long to people, and it is a really simple process. But it's real. I think it's really hard to kind of, you know, visualize, and it's a lot easier to actually see it in action. So we can kind yeah. of, you know, sort of walk through it. And you know, sh but not really. I think this was should be really helpful to a lot of people. I hope. I hope. No, and me too. And I'm going to share it with sales, and hopefully they'll share it with their firms, and we'll put it out on the YouTube page. And I don't think we'll edit it. We'll just leave it as as it is. It's kind of fun to watch it, or people could just listen. You know, that's they fine can do too. What, yeah, whatever they want. It's out there. So end to end perspective on QB payments and how it uh, behaves and integrates and works uh, within QuickBooks Online. I mean, it's not really even integration. It is built in. Yeah. Right, it's built in functionality and I love that. So thanks again for your time this morning and we'll close out the Google Hangout at this point. And we'll see you on the uh, QB show every Tuesday, yeah. 7.30 Tuesday. to 8.30. Here Eastern. we go. Maybe we'll recap this. All right, thanks again, Stace. See you, Woody. Bye-bye.